The Association of South Jackson Neighborhoods held the meeting to overall discuss how they can stop crime here in the capital city once and for all. We got to do something. We got to do something. Monday, the Association of South Jackson Neighborhoods, along with several county, city, and state officials, held a community discussion at the JPD Training Academy. With Capitol Police and JPD, uh, also looking at the fact that we have JPS community, I mean, um, uh, campus enforcement, you have UMC, you have Jackson uh, State, Hines, and also the Hines County Sheriff's Office, we should be the safest place in the state of Mississippi. But law enforcement aside, the goal here was to discuss ideas and plan a comprehensive 2024 legislative agenda aimed at reducing crime in the city of Jackson. We need to get the people earlier when they commit these crimes and do our best to prevent those crimes. It began with the question of why. Why is there so much crime in the city? Schooling, family life, and blight were a few of the topics that were brought up. We need to have some type of program that helps to help those students transition to middle schools, but also provide some services and resources to parents. The broken window theory says, hey, you drive down the street and it looked run down. That's a good place for criminals to hide out. Police Chief Joseph Wade also brought to the table some issues, pointing to the open carry law in the state, which he questions whether it can be amended for specifically the capital city. We need to ask, can it be amended? Can it be adjusted? Can it be changed? Because it's decimating your inner city communities. It's not affecting Puckett, Pelahatchee, and Pisgah, but it's decimating the city of Jackson. I see individuals walking down the street toting a gun on their side, an assault rifle. At the end of the meeting, the ASJN president told everyone that this is one of three meetings until the end of the year. He also told all the officials to come prepared with what they need and want for this upcoming legislative session. In Jackson, Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.